Indonesia and Singapore were seeking for the goal since the very first whistle as their previous first leg match ended up with a 1-1 draw. The attacking initiative resulted in Ezra Walian's successful goal with the ball being passed from Witan Sulaiman making Indonesia lead by 1-0. In the 74th minute, a beautiful free kick from Shahdan Sulaiman cannot be averted by Nadio Argawinata, making Singapore take over the lead 2-1. The Garuda almost lost the game, but Pratama Arhan scored a goal just in three minutes before full time. Moreover, Singapore failed to steal the lead after the penalty from Faris Ramli was successfully blocked by Nadeo Argawinata and forced the match to continue with the extra time. Playing with only nine players was not easy for Singapore. During the extra time, Garuda was able to add another two goals, one by an own goal from Singapore's Shahwal Anwar, and the closing goal was scored by the 21-year-old Indonesian winger Egi Maulana Fikri. Moreover, Singapore lost another player after its goalkeeper, Hassan Sunni, did a very bad foul to prevent his team from conceding another goal. Finally, with a final score of 4-2 and 5-3 on the aggregate, Indonesia proceeds to the AFF Suzuki Cup Finals for the sixth time and will face the winner of a match between Vietnam and Thailand. Now, Indonesia has finally once again advanced to the finals five times now in total, yet none of it has sealed the championship since 1996. Under Shin Tae Yong's coaching, Indonesia is now optimistic to win the match. A dramatic match was presented in the second leg of the 2020 AFF Cup semi-finals when the Indonesian national team faced Singapore at the National Stadium. The Garuda squad defeated Singapore 4-2 and advanced to the final with an aggregate advantage of 5-3. Since the AFF debut in 1996, the Garuda were qualified for the finals five times in 2000, 2002, 2004, 2010, and 2016. Indonesia's five previous finals were achieved after beating Vietnam in the 2000 and 2016 AFF Cup semis. The Garuda team then bested Malaysia in 2002 and 2004 and defeated the Philippines in 2010. From 11 times participating in the AFF Cup, Indonesia has won five runners-up and one third place winner. This year will be the sixth time the Indonesian national team has entered the final. It did seem like a bad luck, but this year, the opportunity for the Indonesian national team comes into light as they cruised to the 2020 AFF Cup final. Yet, the Indonesian national team will certainly have to work extra hard if they want to be the champion this year as they would face one of the toughest opponents, Thailand. For the record, Thailand is still the most successful team in the history of AFF Cup for holding five championship trophies. The Indonesian national team met Thailand three times in the AFF Cup final in 2000, 2002, 2016 and they were always done. In the 2000 AFF Cup, the Garuda squad team was met with Thailand which orchestrated by Peter White. In a match that was held at the Raja Mangala Stadium, Bangkok, Indonesia fell 1-4 to Thailand. At that time, Warra Wood Sri Manka became Thailand's goal machine by scoring a hat-trick in that match. Meanwhile, the single goal for Indonesia was created by Uston Nawawi. After two years, 
In 2002, the Indonesian national team met Thailand again, but this time at the Bung Karno Main Stadium. Having been left behind by two goals, the Indonesian national team managed to equalize via the action of Yaris Riyadi and Gendut Doni. The score lasted 2-2 and continued until the penalty shootout. In this round, the Indonesian national team lost 2-4 to Thailand. Finally, Thailand was once again a scorch for the Garuda squad after winning 3-2 on aggregate in the 2016 AFF Cup Final. However, the records and statistic number are just a number. This year, under the tutelage of Shin tae Young, optimism is worth putting forward. It was proven that the 2020 AFF Cup, the Indonesian national team was able to beat strong teams like Malaysia and Singapore and hold off Vietnam.